Hi guys, today we want to introduce a new type of a maths puzzle to you. This is known as Ken Ken puzzle. It's a really simple and easy puzzle to play as I will demonstrate through the course of this presentation. So without further ado, let's look at what a Ken Ken puzzle looks like. This is what a Ken Ken puzzle looks like. It is a square with even smaller squares inside of it. A Ken Ken puzzle will always be a square. It will never be a rectangle or a circle. So the objective behind the Ken Ken puzzle is very simple, is to fill each and every small boxes with numbers, as you can see here. But how do we do this? That is the biggest question. So let's look at how to play a Ken Ken puzzle. So the first thing you do when you see a Ken Ken puzzle is try and figure out what kind of a Ken Ken puzzle it is. This one here is a three by three puzzle. The reason being, it has three boxes on the top and three boxes on the side. If there were four boxes on the top and four boxes on the side, we would have called it a four by four Ken Ken puzzle. Okay, this brings us to the first rule of Ken Ken puzzles. The first rule stipulates that if it's a three by three Ken Ken puzzle, the only numbers that we can use to fill out the boxes are one, two, and three. Uh, similarly, if it's a four by four Ken Ken puzzle, we can use the numbers one, two, three, and four. Five by five, we can use the numbers one, two, three, four, and five, so on and so forth. Now, in a Ken Ken puzzle, you cannot use zero. There is no place for a zero. You can't use negative numbers. You can't use fractions or decimals. You can only use whole numbers. Okay. Now, the second rule of Ken Ken puzzle is also very simple. If you have ever played Sudoku before, this rule should be uh, familiar to you. So it states that if you put a number down in any one of the boxes, you cannot repeat the same number in the same row or the same column, which is denoted here by the red arrows. So in this example, we have used two in the top left box. We cannot repeat two again in the same row or the same column. Anywhere else in the puzzle, you can write two. So diagonally, you can write two. So these are the two very simple rules of Ken Ken puzzles. Now, if you put these two rules together, what you come up with is that in a 3 by 3 Ken Ken puzzle, each row and each column will have at least a 1, 2 and a 3. The order doesn't matter, but it should at least have a 1, 2 and a 3. So in a 4 by 4, it would have a 1, 2, 3 and a 4. Okay, so let's look at the functional rules of Ken Ken puzzles. Now the first thing you'll see when you see a Ken Ken puzzle are these rectangle outlined boxes. Now these are what we call cages. Cages are used to trap numbers and it will be our guiding posts in solving the puzzle. Now each cage is further subdivided into boxes and this is how we know how many numbers to put inside a cage. Each box corresponds to one number. So if a cage has two boxes, that would mean that that cage would contain two numbers. Okay, let's look at a special cage. This one here is called a freebie. The reason this is called a freebie is because this cage only has one box and just one number. In all the other cages, you will see that there is at least two boxes. There is a number and then there is a mathematical operator. This box here has only one box and just a number. So what you do when you see a freebie is you just write the number down. That is why it's called a freebie. It's a free cage. So the first thing you do when you see a Ken Ken puzzle is try and figure out what kind of a Ken Ken puzzle it is that is going to tell you what numbers you can use to fill out the puzzle. And the second thing you do is to fill out the freebies that will help the ball rolling that will get you going. Okay, now let's look at the functional rules of Ken Ken. This cage here has two boxes and it says five plus. What does this mean? Very simply, what it means is number plus number should be equal to five. So in this cage here, we have to use two numbers, add them up, and the answer has to be five. So our options are very simple. The first one is two plus three, of course. As I said, order doesn't matter, so it can be three plus two as well. Now, some of you must be wondering that one plus four is also five, but this option won't be correct for this particular puzzle, because if you remember the first rule, this is a three by three puzzle, and we can only use the numbers one, two, and three. If this were to be a 4x4 four four puzzle, we could have used 1 plus 4. Okay, so that's it. That's all you need to know to start solving your Ken Ken puzzles. Now let's look at all the different operators that you can use in a Ken Ken puzzle. We already saw 5 plus. 
This one here has one minus. What does this mean? It means you have to subtract two numbers and the answer has to be one. So two and one is our answer. So two minus one gives you one. Similarly, in this one, it is three division. It would mean that we have to divide two numbers to get three. So the only option we have is three divided by one. This is an interesting one. This cage has three boxes. So we would need three numbers. It says nine times. So we would need to multiply three numbers to get nine. Hence, three, one, and three. Three times one is three. Again, three times three is nine. All right, great. So these are all the rules that you would need to know to solve your own Ken Ken puzzle. So remember that if you have put a number down in any one box, you cannot repeat the same number in the same row or the same column.